B.C. teachers say smaller class sizes and wage increases are the major issues in coming contract talks, and that could have them on a collision course with the government. The teachers' union says B.C. has dropped to eighth in Canada when it comes to teacher salaries. But the Clark government says there is no extra cash to offer teachers in the new contract, and doing so would mean having to reopen the contracts of other public sector unions, which leaves both sides far apart. A News Legislature reporter, Shachi Curl, has the latest. The kids may be off for spring break, but BC teachers are preparing for a major assignment, renegotiating a contract that expires June 30th. Collective bargaining is top of that agenda. The BC Teachers Federation and the Clark government are anxious to avoid this. Fall 2005, a bitter strike brings out the worst in labour relations between teachers and the B.C. Liberals and it keeps kids out of the classroom for three weeks. This time around, teachers say they want smaller class sizes and a bigger paycheck, though they won't say how much. We haven't arrived at a figure yet. Good luck with that first demand, says Education Minister George Abbott. Handwritten notes for a speech he'll give to union members tomorrow make reference to wanting to be open, approachable and accommodating in this negotiation. But one thing's clear, there is no money for that. Uh, government's entirely serious about this uh, and we will be maintaining it uh, without a doubt. Five years ago, Victoria teacher Tara Erke was starting out in the classroom. Now a member of the union's bargaining committee, she says without a raise, BC risks losing new teachers to other places. If, uh, you know, driving 100 miles across the border means a substantive salary increase, we're going to lose some of the best and the brightest to those parts of the country. And the pressure's on for Premier Christy Clark. The deal with teachers represents her first big test in public sector negotiations. Where there may be some room to give is in the area of classroom conditions. It is very important in the kindergarten to grade four years to have early identification and remediation of barriers to learning. But with the union admitting both sides are far apart, will that be enough? Or, with their contract expiring at the end of the school year, will teachers face one tough test getting the attention of the public and the provincial government? In Victoria, Shachi Curl, A News.